Um, is the blade gone? It doesn't feel gone. Not yet. I thought there was something we should try before, well, before the opportunity escapes us. I, you look great. I, I mean, yeah, you're a sight for sore eyes too. Um, I thought you said that I wouldn't be able to see him. Well, it occurred to me that a Manadil's necklace might imbue you with more celestial qualities than just super strength. Oh, damn. No, I'm, I'm just a soul. So I'm not solid. But you can see and you can hear me. So when you take the blade back up to heaven, I won't be able to see him anymore. You won't. We weren't even sure if I should come. We didn't want to make this any harder for you. But then we thought it wouldn't be fair to make that decision for you. <sighs> um, can you give us a few hours? Of course. I know, but Trixie refused to let the chocolate cake go. Oh my god, I almost lost it. I know, me too. <laughs> oh, man. How's she doing? You know, she's, um, it's been hard. But, uh, she's strong. Just like her dad. <laughs> and how are you doing? Uh... Well, turns out with super strength, I can protect myself. I can protect the ones I love. But there is no celestial object to take away how all of this feels. You know, it's been hard. Well, harder than I thought it would be. I'm sorry, Chloe. Damn, you were. An amazing man. A great cop, an incredible father. <laughs> Listen, can I tell you something? At first, I blamed myself for what happened to you, but then, then I realized that, God, at least I got to be there when you died. But Dan, Ever since you've been gone, I just, I felt so powerless. Listen, there's something that you need to know, okay? You're right. Trixie is strong. But it's not because of me. It's because of you. And you don't need some silly necklace to give you strength, Chloe, because you are the strongest woman I've ever met in my life. I can't tell you. 